Okay, so this is a demo for uh, how to use IntelliJ IDEA in order to achieve this. So we will go to localhost 8080 and uh, we have a Tomcat server listening on this particular port that allows us to see this message. And uh, similarly, if we go on to the page employee, we can see a different message. And on the back end, uh, we have JSP uh, pages that are being served over here. So we'll see this, we'll see how to create this using uh, Java, using JSPs, IntelliJ, and Maven. So let's get started using that. So the first thing that we'll do is we will be going to start.spring.io and we have maven over here we will be arbitrating dependencies we will add dev tools we will add spring web actually we don't need to do this Instead, what we can do is that we can directly go into IntelliJ and uh, let's create a new project. We'll select Maven over here and we'll create from an archetype and the archetype we are going to select is uh, Maven archetype web app. We select next. Let's give it a name. And we finish. Okay, so while that is going on, let us configure this to use web.xml. Okay, uh, so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to set up Tomcat over here. So we'll go into run, edit configurations, and we are going to add a tomcat server and we are going to select an artifact that we are going to deploy And that looks good. We can leave all of the remaining settings as they are. But we'll be visiting this page again a bit later. But for now it looks good. Okay. And now if we go into run and try to run our application stop this for now and we should see this hello world over here 
so now if we change this we should be able to see the reflected changes and there we go so we have a basic setup that we can start working with so what do we want to do over here so the first thing that we want to do is is update the uh, dependencies so that we can use spring and we do that by going in over here and we just add the spring dependency in our form and then we reload our maven file and this should load the spring libraries Okay, the next thing that we have to do is basically define go into our web.xml and add and add all of this So right now we can see that employee servlet is not defined. So let's start by adding a XML file, which should be somewhere here. Yep. And we are going to name it employee. this definition present over here so this looks good apply servlet it's linking back over here there's an error no, of course so now we'll start writing our own code uh, let's have a package directory called java and in this java we will create a new package Let's call it company. And in this, we should be having a new controller. So this class is going to basically act as our controller. So we are going to assign it an annotation. And the remaining stuff is going to be pretty much the same so we can just get this from here and we press alt enter and we get this so right now this will listen for all urls that are in our route we do not want that we want to listen for employee 
so this controller will listen for all uh, get requests that are on the employee URL so we need to tell this to our employee servlet sorry to our web XML so right now you can see that it's the root so right now basically what it's listening for is is this but we do not want that we instead wanted to listen for this so we'll add employee over here sorry employee over here so the way that it will work is that when we send a request to this particular url the servlet that is going to be triggered is this one and this servlet will basically point to this one and this in turn is going to call our employee servlet.xml and employee.servlet.xml is going to basically go to com.company.sun and over here it will point it will figure out that this is the uh, this is the url that is being requested which has this page that is being shown and it will return reply with this page so what we need to do is we need to create this page so for that let's create a directory and let's name it gsp pages and inside gsp pages we create a new file let's call it employee home page so this is the same name that is being used over there and let's just have a generic title over here with a body all right and this looks good and make sure that this is the same name that we are using over here because we are inside web in JSP pages and this is the same name that we have over here okay so let's go over the flow once more so from the web browser we are going to request a slash employee link that slash employee link is going to trigger this servlet this servlet is going to come over here over here it will see this is the employee servlet it will come over here and here it is going to look into this particular folder but before it goes into this folder it is going to go into the company package over here where it is listening for employee and it is going to return with employee homepage which is our this page so this looks good so let's see if this works let's restart our server oh it was already stopped Okay. We go to employee. All right. So this works, and uh, I'll just explain why we are seeing this over here. So you see, hello world over here. So hello world is basically coming from index.jsp, and this is from where it is coming from. So the default path is listening basically we have a default path that is triggering that so now we will be changing that so we add another listener over here just for this and we are going to use the same servlet over here and we come back to employee controller so we need to add a new 
but this time it is listening for just on this root folder so let's have let's change this name to be show employee home page and this one to be show your home page and let's change this to welcome and uh, remember that uh, once we do this then it will search for the page inside JSP page so we need to move this over here and let's refactor this to rename and the name that we gave over here was welcome so So let's just add a couple of changes over here so that we know that it is the new file that is being picked up. So now if we restart our server, let's try restart. Okay, and we see the new value over here with the three exclamation points. If you remember, this was what we were doing, right? Welcome.jsp, where it was listening for at the root folder. So we have employee.jsp and then the change that we did is basically, and we see the updated page. One last point is you see this additional text over here. So this was kind of irritating. So the thing is that in order to change this, we need to go into run again and we edit our configurations. And what we want to do is that we just want to change this application context to this and then we apply so you can see that now we will go to this url by default and this should get rid of this particular thing over here so now let's restart or redeploy restart it sometime Okay, so now it's deployed. So let's try looking at it again. Hmm. Actually, so now we go to localhost 8080. And now we see the same message, hello world, but this time it's on localhost 8080. And and we see the new text hello there, 